We also have a look at cattle markets this week with Nebraska Extension Livestock Economist Kate Brooks. May's cattle on feed report from the USDA shows Nebraska as the nation's leader with two and a half million cattle in feedlots of more than a thousand head capacity. The state also led in commercial cattle slaughter for April with the average live weight at more than 1,400 pounds, second only to Minnesota. In the grocery store, the price of all fresh retail beef fell in April for the first time since November. Last month's average cost of $6.05 a pound was down less than a cent from March's record. Kate joined us Wednesday afternoon to analyze cattle markets, starting with the latest Cattle on Feed report. Cattle on feed numbers uh, for May 1 came in about 1% above year ago levels. Mm. The big surprise was placements. Um, it was lower than expected. I think it was actually lower than trade expectations or the pre-report estimates um, at about 5% below uh, year ago levels. The other thing to look at besides placements being lower is actual placements and the weight categories. Uh, if we look at two of the weight categories, those at 800 pounds and above um, for the last two months, those have been above year ago levels. And if we look at the placements um, of the lighter weight calves, those have actually been down um, compared to year ago levels. Why is that important? What does that mean? You know, that's as we start to look at where we're going to have supply coming up, our marketings in the next several months, uh, how tight supplies are going to get. Um, we don't know exactly, you know, the average weight of those 800 pound plus ones that are being placed. Um, and so that can kind of cause as to how long it's going to be in the feedlot. But, you know, as we're placing more in those higher categories, it could mean tighter supplies as we go forward. So Nebraska placements were down 7% from April 2014. First of all, was that surprising? And second of all, what is that indicative of? You know, we're still down in supply numbers. Um, Total inventory available to go into the feedlots is down. Uh, if we look at cattle on feed numbers for Nebraska, uh, those have been, you know, year over year above 2000, or month, every month, year over year has been above 2014 levels. Um, so we are increasing cattle on feed numbers, but you know, we do start to see towards summer months, we start to see some declines in cattle on feed numbers um, as we go forward. Do those placement numbers reflect at all on expansion? You know, I think as we look across the U.S. as a whole, we're starting to see some expansion. You know, we've gotten some rain in some areas, not just in Nebraska, but in areas across the U.S. and some of the major, you know, cattle numbers. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen heifer slaughter numbers down. We've seen cow slaughter numbers down. Um, and so I think all of that is playing into seeing maybe further expansion of the herd. April beef production down 6% from a year ago. Alarming at all? Again, tight, tight yeah. cattle numbers. If we're watching marketings, you know, we're, we were expecting cattle numbers, slaughter numbers to continue to go down. At least the first half, we were expecting maybe some increases a second, but that's still time will tell. Um, the surprise would continue to increase those weights. And so, yeah, we have a decline in slaughter numbers, uh, but increase in, in weights kind of somewhat offsets that. Meaning that it's still paying to put more weight on the animal? We still have some payments there to put that weight onto those animals, and so we may continue to see those um, increases there in weights. So as I mentioned earlier on in the show, all fresh retail beef kind of leveled off uh, last month. Does it show then that there's maybe hope for the consumer that prices are easing a bit? Prices have started to ease. We won't know these latest data as far as, you know, the Memorial Day weekend and how supplies went and what prices we were paying there because um, we're ramping up for for the big beef months and so I think there we might have seen maybe some increases in beef prices. We probably won't see recent huge declines in beef prices going forward. We still have tight supply of beef. With the avian influenza spreading across the U.S. and affecting millions and millions of birds, what effect does that have on competing meats here in the States? You know, if we look at the avian influenza, it's basically hitting the turkey industry mm -hmm. and then it has hit the egg laying industry. Um, that's important because it's affecting egg prices. So both the breaker eggs as well as uh, the table eggs. When we talk about it for the broiler industry, it's not affecting those, so the chickens that we eat. Um, the issue there is the export market. So we're producing more and more broiler chickens, inventories, supply is up. If we can't export some of that product, I think we export 17 to 19 percent. Um, that's staying here. Uh, that can decrease those prices for the chicken products. And become more competitive with beef and, and pork. And again, huh? cause more competition there between beef and pork. Alright, tell me what your thoughts are on how prices have moved uh, and what you think could go forward here in both the uh, feeder and the live markets. You know, we're still above 2014 levels. Uh, when we talk about the feeder calf, we're kind of doing some sideways cash trading. 
um, but still well above 2014 levels. As expected, you know, I don't think we're going to see the rise we saw in 2014. So on average, you know, we may be above 2014, but as we get into that second quarter, more calves tend to come to the market. We might actually not see those prices go up and see prices below 2014 levels.